Hi, I want you to watch me on Dominion TV, Sandry and Friends. Time and day is below. This is Sandry and Friends, laser focus now. I have news for you. The process unfolds. It takes place in his timing. Always remember that his timing is the best timing. Hand it over to him. Give him total control. That's Guess right. what, guys? When I woke up and identified that what I needed to do was get a grip, get a hold, and, and that my entire identity is in Christ Jesus, literally transformation took place. So remember, separation, preparation transformation and when there's a transformation you know what happens you live to see the demonstration of the power of God Hey guys, this is Sandry with Sandry and Friends. Oh my goodness, so last week we had an amazing guest and I said I would continue this week with that special guest and that's my husband, Honorable Ruben Bermudez. Pastor Ruben, Papa Ru, my best friend, my husband, my lover, my everything. God is first, let's get it right. But without this wonderful man in my life, I cannot do all that I do, and I'm so excited about you being here again this week, hon. Good to be here again, definitely. Oh my God, what an honor. I, I, I often wondered how it would be like if I were doing an interview with you, but here we are, we're doing this. We're doing this, yeah. Um, my husband convinced me, he took me out of my comfort <laughs> zone uh, to be here, so I'm having fun too, kind of taking him out a little bit uh, out of his comfort zone. Mm -hmm. uh, but I think it's amazing that together, uh, we can work and walk this walk out, right? That's Serving right. the Lord yes. um, and just being a blessing. And I want to thank you guys uh, for welcoming us this evening into your home. Last week we were talking a little bit about the political uh, life, you as a businessman, number one, as an entrepreneur, and then also a council, president of council, uh, the mayor of our city, now uh, also as a pastor and in ministry. Um, but moving forward, uh, even uh, after talking about the many challenges, you widow, but you continue on focused, uh, we get married, and God is just doing some amazing things. But I wanted to touch a little on family life, um, the importance of family and, and ministry. How, how do you, how did that also pan out in the process? I think family is very important in our lives. Uh, sometimes we got it backwards. We put our business first or we put other things first and we forget God and family. We gotta take care of the family. I always believed that very, uh, when I got married very young, young actually, when my wife, first wife, passed away. And uh, we always put our kids always uh, first in the family and we'll always go to church with them. And that was so important that we kept the family together that way. Uh, my daughters are now, you know, they're uh, grown. grown and they're As a matter married. of fact, this week there's and a birthday, right? Today, today actually there's her birthday today. Um, she'll be, she's 43 years old, believe it or not, my oldest daughter. Uh, she lives in North Carolina, by the way. Yeah, Dee Dee. So, okay, that's, that's the oldest. Beautiful, beautiful daughter I have. They're both beautiful. And matter of fact, they're together now. That's right. They're they, celebrating. I made that. I pushed that a lot because I tell that my daughter is, listen, Papa might not be around here, you know, forever, which I won't be going to heaven with Lord, Lord. But however, you got to keep yourselves together as a family. You can't, you know, be separate, live separate lives and forget about each other. That's so important in a family. Keep the communication going. So I, I taught them that very young age, and today uh, they're together and they're having a blast. I know that, mm -hmm. and so I, I'm happy. I'm happy because they, they, we they are, kind of we are happy. Took my advice. Daddy can't help but be daddy. Uh, That's so I'm right. Gonna tell, I'm gonna tell him, Daddy. 
we this week were we were uh, was it like two or three days ago where where we were driving right and my husband goes why don't you call this one up and i go no we're not calling them up it's their time, you know what I'm talking. Daddy uh, wanted to be daddy all the way. Where are they? What's this? And and I just sat there thinking that that's how God is about all of us. It doesn't yes. matter what age we are. He's our father. We're his babies, right? That's right. And just like we're concerned, protecting, uh, wanting to love on them or know every move. And at times, you know, God gives us that space and allows us to enjoy. And and um, so, but when you were talking and, and I was saying no let them be we know what they're doing we already knew what the plan was right and I'm saying they're doing exactly what they have planned and we were just excited and then I said then we, we saw the pictures right that were posted that's right uh, and they were they're literally having, having, fun. having, having well, yeah. an amazing time but I bring up the family because it's so important to know that family is our first ministry yes it is um, loving and 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 caring and extending yourself to 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 the place i'm gonna tell you with my family with the family it doesn't matter where we're at in the world when that phone rings we take a good look and if it's a family member everything stops we answer that phone we speak to them we mm -hmm. uh, you know what good am i or what good are we, we if we are out there you know reaching the world touching the world and right. our loved ones are in need right. needing us or, or just wanting to say hello or i miss you or i need you or hey can you just because nowadays technology my goodness technology is, is amazing you can facetime you know what's up you can do a messenger you can do whatever it takes and you there's no need not to connect what is it many communicate few connect mm -hmm, with yeah. technology where we're at today it's just amazing i just want to see you i just need i just need to see your face or your smile and we do that yes we do and yes, does, do. doesn't it make us happy when yes that? it does because we do that once in a while absolutely and she'll tell me pop hit here hit here and you can see me oh, yes okay we need to see the girls teaching him <laughs> teach how to me. connect hey, listen i don't know what uh, at this age is that what it is honey at times we uh, we, I just we think, learn things once twice three times and just when you think you got it guess what happens something new comes something out, new comes comes out. out. So, true. so we have to be willing to continuously learn yes. also right that's right it, and i believe also that the families if it's a firm you have to have firm foundation firm you got to establish that in the beginning i did that with my kids at a very early age uh, that's something we built upon mm -hmm. and they know that if ever something happens they can recall and say I remember what Papa Ma taught us and they built that foundation for us mm -hmm. and that's something that I never forget that I built and I'm confident that God will see them through no matter what situation they face in life absolutely I know he'll absolutely. see them through what you put into them is what you get out of them and I, th there's an emphasis that it it's, doesn't matter to me. Sometimes people, um, and, and I think also because some people back then, the foundation was laid that everything was God first, the church first, then the family. Mm -hmm. um, but, you know, I understand that's the way they were taught back then. But when you fast forward, if you, I love, I'm a preacher's kid all my wonderful life. I love my father. I honor my father and my mother. And my parents are in their 80s. They are still pastors. Mm -hmm. Actually, my dad built the largest Hispanic church. It's right in our city. That's right. Uh, that seats well, I was comfortably part of that. I was about 1,800. I was, I was 10 years old leading oh, praise and worship and teaching. So when you want to show me mega, and you want to show me re, uh, something big, and, and you want to move me, it better be super mega. And even then, I take a good look because it's not how big it is. It's how firm that foundation that was laid was laid. And when I think of my dad, um, 82 years old now, has been on the radio 55 years. Mm -hmm. He doesn't, I mean, he doesn't budge. My dad is up at 3 a.m. In, in the morning. morning. At 4 a.m., he's already on the road. Honestly. At 5, he's on the air till 8. Yeah. And on Saturdays and Sundays, 8 and 9 o'clock in the morning, he's on air five hours. My dad doesn't want to hear it. So I, what you put into it, is what, what you get, get out of it. <laughs> Some people will ask me, Sandri, 
how many hours do you sleep? I went to sleep at one and you were up. And when I woke up at six, you were already up. Well, I spe uh, literally, I sleep how many hours? Four or five hours. Four or five hours. If I do four, I'm good. If I do five hours, I'm great. I have energy nonstop. I say I owe it, number one, to Almighty God, but I also owe it to the, 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 the input, how my parents reared me, what they put into me. Let me tell you, we used to fast mm. every Sunday, 6 a.m. to 6 p.m. <laughs> and I used to, uh, you know, we grew up together in the same church. My dad was... Uh, Pastor Reuben's pastor, and, and, and Reuben was a percussionist at the, the church. Drummer. We fasted from 6 a.m. to 6 p.m. And I used to have visions that I was swimming in a Coca-Cola pool and the sub was coming at me. And, 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 and I'm not trying, this is not a comedy hour. I am telling you that at 62, those were the days, but those days back then, laid a foundation. Who can survive the times that we're living mm. without prayer and without fasting and without talking about the unity of the family? family. I mean, Don't I'll work. tell you what, this so-called crisis may be on the outside. It doesn't abide on the inside, inside. but I have clear that it has brought the family closer, closer together. It has caused for people to reconnect if they were disconnected They're it has caused now. for people to call on god jesus i need you now more than ever it's been a wake-up call yes, for the have. family for the neighbor for the friends if you never met your neighbor before you know your neighbor now or literally <laughs> if you right. were never moved before to serve to serve that's right to serve to, to make sure that your neighbor or your friend has food or water or you name it uh, let me tell you i love what we did Yes. I'm not even tooting that horn. But when we got up one day and we said, we're going to go and buy flowers, we went and literally flowers. Went and got flowers, right? A bunch of beautiful tulips. I'll never forget. It was April. They were beautiful tulips. And we were knocking on doors. doors. <laughs> COVID, we had our mask. I said, okay, some people we knew, so we had their phone numbers. So we were put the tool up in front of the door, knock on the door, run to our car, because we did not, remember, no contact, remember? We didn't want to break the rule. Yeah. We want to comply, but we want to be a blessing, and we want to bring joy. And there's life in the midst of the storm is all that we were saying. So we had purpose. That's right. We would get up, oh my goodness, we would get in our car, close the windows, lock the doors, because there's always going to be someone, Mayor, or Pastor Ruben, or Dr. Sandra. And we were like, you know, we're complying. I mean, I literally, I said, the next time, I'm going to have a sign. We love you, but we're complying. <laughs> but let me tell you, and the What people, a difference that makes. What a difference. The phone calls. Yes. The people opening the door. Just the flowers. Just like flowers. Flowers. Total strangers. Oh, my goodness. We love you. And, and I'm thinking, someone that doesn't know me just said, we love you. Guys, what an opportunity to be a blessing, to a literally, yes. to our family, to our neighbors, to perfect strangers, and what a demonstration of the love of God. That's right. Of That's the right. love of it's God. So important. How did you feel doing that? Did, did you think at first I was we driving. were crazy? You, 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 I was driving, all I seen a bunch of flowers in the back of me. I said, whoa, all these flowers, we we'll go take <laughs> these flowers. We brought the so seats I, down. We did it though. We went to the garden oh. center. My husband's like, what are you doing? Sandra says, well, well, do you agree with me? I'm in agreement, but what are we doing? I said, this, this is a plan of action because we knew we could not have contact. But it takes the teamwork. That's what yeah. I'm saying. Isn't that amazing? It was, it was we just said we're gonna do this today. We're gonna take action. We, we can't be locked up, but we must comply. We don't want to break the law. And we saw the, what an opportunity to then say, "Hey, open your door." And oh my goodness, the reaction, the display of love, of joy, mm -hmm. and even praying for people over the phone. That's right. It, it's just a blessing, and I, it blesses me that two of us together. Can, you know, it may sound crazy, uh, but guys, it can be done. It must be done. It will be done. And it is, it is done. done. It, was, I, it was something that I felt in my heart to do. I shared it with my husband. We agreed on it, and we were cautious. We took the proper measures, 
But guys, we were so blessed. Honestly, we were energized by this. Then we decided we were going from town to town, right? Mm -hmm. Every shore, Atlantic City, Cape May, Ocean City. We hit all, <laughs> all the shore areas. We were with the homeless, even in the alley. Mm -hmm. It was, it's going to be all right, guys. Don't you know? Being a mayor is a title. Being a pastor is a title. title. I want to know that we, as one, can function. And guess what? Titles don't make us. That's right. But the heart of God in us mm -hmm. aligned to the Father heart of God. See, title's not your identity, by the way. That's right. That's what, what people kind of get confused. Uh, you're, you're here on earth to make a difference. God put us here to help others like he did for us. And I think that's what, where we miss it. When we think we have this title or you're such and such a person. And sometimes they go on that title. And, you, and sometimes you don't call them by that title. They get all upset. They say, what do you mean call them? Oh, I yeah. says, that's not right. It says, know who you are in Christ Jesus. You're a servant here to serve others. That's what we're here to do. What is it? Love God. Love, love people, people and love, love to serving. serve. And mind you, we're not saying that a title. There's a there's a place uh, for everything, and, and familiarity does a whole nother ball game. But I'll tell you what: if somebody doesn't call me doctor, I'm still Sandry. I Sandry, no matter what. Well, listen, it's apostle, it's doctor, it's teacher, it's mother, it's friend. There are so many titles, but at the end of the day, I'm Sandry. I'm Sandry. He's Reuben. We That's love right. God. We love God. And we love serving people. Listen, it's all about loving God, loving people, and love to serve. That's right. And it's amazing what happens, right? Little becomes much, much more when we place it in the master's hands. During this crisis, my husband and I found a lot of joy. Listen, we lost, what, about 82 people? 61 of them pastors. There was so much pain, they, and it was wrap yourself around the love of God and find joy in the midst of that process. That's what we, we refused to allow, this, the heaviness that wanted to come. Right, honey? Mm -hmm. And we said, no, Father, show us what to do, what actions, what must I do? And we decided out of all those families, there were 31 families in need. We did not knock on people's doors for anything. We said, Lord, if you've placed this burden upon us, we're going to trust you every mm -hmm. step of the way. That's right. And did not God provide, honey? We've been all over. We've been, We've been all, all over. over. We blessed 31 blessed families, people. took care of them for a year, by the way, guys. Mm -hmm. We made sure they were up and running and everything that they needed in place to the point that we're now down to two families. That's right. That's right. Two families, guys. God is a way maker, we'll a miracle worker, we'll a, a promise keeper. You know that song, way maker, yeah. miracle, miracle worker, worker, promise keeper, keeper. light in the darkness. Well, I don't know the rights to this song, but that is who he is. Mm. God is amazing. Yes, He's he is. Faithful. Miracle worker. And just when we said, oh my goodness, how are we going to do this? Because now this, this situation got larger or, or there's no money for the funeral. Lord, and just when we would be asking God how, guess what? There was the miracle, miracle, the miracle, the way maker. So what did we have to do? We took action. That's right. We trusted him, faith, every step, step of, of the, way. the way. And the miracle knocked on our door. And there it was. So what are you believing God for? Even in the midst of what you say it, it is a crisis, whatever that may be. Okay, because it may not be COVID. It may not be. It may be something else that you're going through. Mm -hmm. I want you to know that he will see you through. Yes, he I, will. It doesn't matter what it is, whether you're at the top in ministry, whether you're just a, a person that's trying to believe God for a miracle, trying to believe him, uh, just for to, 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 to just live life. I could share things with you. I could tell you where I've been. And I could also tell you where he's taken me to. And I can tell you that it, I'm a big dreamer. Oh my goodness, I, I mean, with my eyes open, I dream. My husband will say, oh, Lord, what are you thinking now? 
and here I go with the dream. But you know what I know? If I can dream it, and if I can imagine it, if we can dream it and we can imagine it, mm -hmm. God has something That's way a, bigger for us. Way that. bigger for us, yes. Way Amen. bigger, way bigger. Yes. Well, I think what, what I think is that the people are watching now is that sometimes fear sets in in our lives. Mm. And we can't allow that to happen because you know what the Bible says in 2 Timothy 1, 7, for God has not given us the spirit of fear, but a power, love, and sound mind. So we have to think about that. We have to sometimes reverse that. And when those things come to your mind, you change that right away and you put the word of God in there. It says, God, you have not given us fear, uh, the spirit of fear, Father. You have given me the power to overcome these situations that I'm going through right now. God can do it if he did it for me, he did it for my wife, for all of us. God do it for you. Amen. He's forever faithful. Just think about it. When you say yes to the Lord, um, he steps in because he's a gentleman. You know, he's a gentleman. That's right. And he calls you friend. Friend. It doesn't matter what people say. I'm always reminded that he calls me friend. And I'm ever, ever, ever so grateful. You know, as a preacher's kid, um, and, you know, uh, I, I was supposed to be the walking saint. And I remember... Uh, the many challenges that I faced, even as, as a preacher's kid, um, and, and trying to make everyone else happy but myself, trying to live up to everyone's expectations, etc. And to me, because remember, the focus is crisis. What does that have to do with a preacher's kid, just in case? Because someone may say, she just made a left turn. No, it's not a left turn. Is that I grew up with challenges and always facing some type of crisis. And you know what I realized at 62? Those crises are the ones that shaped me, that formed me, that made me so who true. I am today. So true. That I can literally just be myself. If you love me, amen. And if you don't, I'll pray that God changes your heart. And if he doesn't, because you don't let him do it, that's on you, not on me. I had to learn to forgive. Mm. Forgive. And in order for Sandri... To forgive, I had to learn to focus. That's why I'm always talking about being intentionally laser focused. A lot of people are writing about that, publishing about that. I started using the word focus when I was like 13 years old because I was challenged with forgiving. So I had to focus, I had to think about it real hard to get to that place where I could forgive. Then at that age, I had to intentionally choose to forgive, therefore I had to intentionally focus. I'll tell you what, all these experiences have shaped me. Having a, a, a husband that dared to stretch me, to, to take uh, other, other avenues of growth and expansion in, in, in my life and even in ministry and what, uh, the platforms that God has us on mm -hmm. and to dare to believe, you know, dare to believe and grateful for friends, grateful for friends That's that right. also not only believe in the dream, but help us to achieve, achieve, what we need achieve to. Yeah. That's right. our dreams, our goals. Uh, and I, I, I'm just uh, amazed, amazed at even what God is doing with us. That's right. And, and I have to say it just like that, live that we could even flow because, you know, fear can also grip you. Yes, again. E even in if the allow it. I I dare to say there's a holy fear that you totally depend on God because you better do it God's way and not your way, and it's not a a fear of God is gonna come upon me. No, it's Father God. I fear you enough that I'm gonna trust you every step of the way, obey every step of the way, and trust and trust that you'll see me through this process, even when I come to do this. It's like, Father, there's so many other TV programs out there. That's right. People that are talking about anything and everything you could possibly think of that cover, you name it. Made to see. Yeah. yeah, so why would I even go this route? What's the purpose? Um, and I'll tell you what, as we've taken care of some phone calls, we are understanding more and more what God is up to. How do you feel about what God is doing? I love it. I think uh, what an opportunity we have as a, a tool to be used through here, through this network, to have an impact all over the world. Um, there's so much that we can give to you that you can use what we're saying 
to help you, to encourage you, to strengthen you. And that's what it's all about. Uh, that's what we're here for, actually, is to help others. He did it for me, he'll do it for you, like you said before. <laughs> it's interesting, right? It's like we keep repeating this power in repetition, by the way. Uh, when you don't know what else to do or what else to say, then you can at least start saying, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. That's right. You can say, I'm confident of this very thing that he who has begun a good work in me will perform it until, until. the day of Jesus Amen. Christ. Huh? The Lord is my shepherd. I lack nothing. nothing. Oh my goodness. And you begin to declare that word, that word that empowers you, that equips you, that begins to uh, make those amazing deposits into your mm -hmm. spirit. And you begin to uh, change. You begin to see a transformation. I always say these four words, separation, <coughs> preparation, transformation, demonstration. When you literally hand it over completely to the Lord, I have news for you. The process unfolds. It takes place in his timing. Always remember that his timing is the best timing. Hand it over to him. Give him total control. That's Guess right. what, guys? When I woke up and identified that what I needed to do was get a grip, get a hold, and, and that my entire identity is in Christ Jesus, literally transformation took place. So remember, separation, preparation transformation and when there's a transformation you know what happens you live to see the demonstration of the power of god i'm so Hallelujah. excited that Amen. you were here with me today and you allow me to come into your living room or wherever you're at your office in your car wherever you're watching this is sandry and friends thank you so much for joining us today hi this is sandry with sandry and friends i want you to follow me connect with me Keep me posted. We got to keep this conversation going, flowing. So connect social media through email, website, whatever. I want to hear from you. Love you. Lynette Dutton here with Dominion Television. Did you know that over 72 nations globally are watching Dominion TV? Dominion Television is a 24-7, high-definition, faith and kingdom broadcasting network. And it is an extremely cost-effective way for you to broadcast your message to increase your influence and to have a global impact. I want you to contact our team today and to find out how you can broadcast your message, your voice on the Dominion Television platform. Look forward to hearing from you today.